All right, Nerdlaws Live coming to you from Southern California here. Happy Wednesday afternoon, 2.30 in the afternoon. It's May 1st, 2019. All right, saw a great article here from thehill.com, and I thought it was uh, very interesting. I heard about this a few days ago, but this article really shed some light on the CIA spying into everybody's life for what reason? <laughs> and why would the CIA go on Twitter and social media to try to act like they're your friend. We're your friend! Yeah, here's one article. Uh, very interesting. I'm going to read from some other articles here in a moment. But inside the secret world, the secret world of the CIA's social media team. Oh, the hill.com just came out uh, fresh off the press this morning. A government agency known, the CIA, for its secrecy is making a splash in a very public forum now. On Twitter. Now, don't forget, uh, lest we forget, articles that came out, uh, well, 2017, March 7th, 2017, basically was the data dump, was when WikiLeaks publishes the biggest ever leak of secret CIA document documents. Remember that? Yeah, I'll read from some of that. Here's BBC, here's The Guardian, Independent, New York Times, uh, Wired.com. CIA scrambles to contain damage from WikiLeaks documents. WikiLeaks published, uh, basically, in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, what am I laughing? Well, because it's... I love to see the spying, the spires being spied on. Is that proper English? <laughs> yeah, I love it. And that's why Julian Assange and WikiLeaks is hated. I just saw an article yesterday. I think they... they uh, the courts uh, said that Julian Assange will have to be in prison. Well, they just sent him to jail for like almost a year. Yeah, uh, that just came out. Why do they hate him? <clears throat> because he spied on the spires. <laughs> he spied on the spies. Yeah, BBC.com 10 hours ago. The Guardian, Washington Post, 50 weeks, 5-0. Well, almost a year. WikiLeaks Julian Assange sentenced to 50 weeks prison. They said, well, you know, he, you know, he jumped bail. Bail breach. 99% of all politicians around the planet, including the U.S. politicians, <laughs> should be in jail. Yeah. <laughs> Julian Assange should be out of jail, and the politicians should be in jail. Yeah. By the way, if you go to my website, uh, check out the video I did yesterday on the coup attempt, the Vatican-U.S. coup attempt that failed in Venezuela. Yeah, Vatican Washington coup attempt failed yesterday against Venezuela. Yeah, take a look at that. Wow, DarylLawsonLive.com, my website, or DarylLawson.com. Click on my YouTube link or just type in my name and do the search. Yeah. All right, back to this. Uh, well, don't forget, I just want, you know, March 7th of 2017, WikiLeaks published the biggest ever leak of secret CIA documents. Uh, here's some of the headlines. CIA has tools to snoop even through your television. Right? Through your smart devices, your, your yeah, televisions, smartphones, you name it. I think every electronic device is able and is being used to spy on not just the Americans, but the world. And I, and I find when I read this article, uh, I found that when I read this article, that uh, when the reporters went in to do this article, on the CIA, right, for their PR campaign. Because they're going on Twitter. Oh, they're going on Twitter. <laughs> they didn't allow anybody to bring any kind of electrical device into the into their offices. Not even a Fitbit. Why would the CIA not allow a Fitbit to be brought into their offices? Why would the CIA even deny a Fitbit? Uh, well... Logically, dear Watson, logically, <laughs> Mr. Hobbs, uh, can the Fitbits be used to spy on people? Sure. Oh, yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, okay, let me read this article and I'll read some of the, uh, well, the spy, uh, WikiLeaks published the, the spy documents, the CIA spying on everybody, yeah. Yeah, from 2017, the CIA has malware to hack mobile phones and turn TVs into spy machine. Ooh, 
My, my, my. So the question to be asked then, why would the CIA now go on Twitter and have another, uh, uh, ramp up their PR program uh, for the CIA and the national intelligence agencies? Obviously, they're not getting what they want. Obviously, they're being stopped. Obviously, they're uh, under pressure to gain more information. How much more information can you get? And I think they're still reeling, the CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, which is really not run by the U.S. government. They say the U.S. government runs it, but really they don't. The foreign government of the Vatican runs the CIA for the New World Order. Sure. I think they're still panicking. Well, they're still, yeah, they are panicking that they don't have enough dirt on everybody, especially Trump. On the whole Mala, Mula, Mueller, I call him Mueller, Robert Mueller, former FBI director, even though some pronounce it Mala, Mala, whatever. Uh, they were hoping that they could find some dirt on Trump and all his friends and drag Trump down, even if it wasn't him, it was for, with his friends. And, and that, did, that didn't work. <laughs> and they can't believe it. They can't believe that the New World Order via the U.S. intelligence agencies, including the CIA, they can't believe that, that Trump hasn't been brought down because of all the spying capabilities that they have. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. Government agency known for its secrecy is making a splash on Twitter. The CIA has been raising eyebrows with this increasingly conversational, oh, where your friend and pop culture filled social media presence in recent months, giving shout outs to hit Hollywood films. So the CIA is on Twitter talking about current events. What the? Well, the New World Order thought that they could spy on everybody with these devices and, of course, on social media. But they never counted, they never took into account that people would use social media and smart devices to spy on them. <laughs> and they can't, they don't know what to do. They're kind of like chasing their tail. I don't know, man, we were supposed to get all the information on them and we got information, but we still can't control the people on the earth. And they're spying on us. What do you mean people are spying on the CIA? Well, everybody with a smart device is always recording events around the world and bypassing the, the, the fake news and the fake media and posting things online. Yeah, I keep on saying this, but social media, uh, the internet was used by God to elect Donald Trump into the presidency. And I think keep him there. And the New World Order was caught off guard. The CIA was caught off guard and they don't know what to do. They thought, well, maybe you know, Trump's on Twitter. Maybe we should go on Twitter. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> I just, they're panicking, and I love it. <laughs> so CIA goes on Twitter and talking about Hollywood films, game show hosts, blah, blah, blah. Just last week, the agency added an Instagram account to its growing social shop. <laughs> Why? Because they're panicking. What, what do panicking people do? What do pa pa uh, pa panicking agencies do? They don't know what to do. <laughs> We're trying to be as transparent as possible with the constraints that the CIA has. <laughs> Agent Agency's press secretary, Timothy Barrett, says. Wow, they got a press secretary. Wow. Uh, I thought the CIA was supposed to do what D Donald Trump wants them to do. Ah, oh, that's wrong, Bob. No. For time's sake, I'm not going to uh, <clears throat> read every paragraph, right? Anyways, Barrett invited the reporters to Langley, Virginia, to speak with some of the secretive squad. I'll put the links in this video when I finish. Talk to the secretive, secretive squad about how the CIA gets its message out online. Why? It says, after leaving all electronic devices in the car, Nothing, not even a Fitbit, is allowed in its headquarters. <laughs> what do they know that we don't know? Well, they're, I'm not going to, well, they track people, you know, through purchases, web surfing, smart devices. Why? <clears throat> the New World Order needs information to control people. They, uh, well, and to bribe people and to tempt people and to compromise people, and to blackmail, blackmail people. Oh, yeah! <clears throat> Jesus operates in forgiving people, <laughs> and loving people, and helping people. The New World Order is the opposite. Control, control, control. 
Manipulate, manipulate, deceive, deceive, deceive. But they find that it's not working. Donald Trump's presidency is a reminder that the New World Order doesn't have all the power. Donald Trump's presidency is an everyday reminder that the New World Order doesn't have the strength and the power that they are have been bragging about. Oh, we control and spine everybody and we're bringing in a new age of the New World Order endgame. Yeah, well, how's that working out? <laughs> the Bible is clear that the New World Order will have a hard time setting up the, their end game until the next rapture happens. When the next rapture happens, I call it the next rapture, Jesus Christ returns to the earth, takes the Christians to heaven for a banquet, the born-again spirit-filled Christians. I'm not talking about Mormons. I'm not talking about Catholics. <laughs> I'm not talking about Jehovah Witnesses. I'm talking about those who love and obey Jesus. It's not a religion. It's a obedience to Jesus, King of kings and Lord of lords. Yeah. <clears throat> So Jesus takes these people very shortly, very soon, to heaven for a banquet, which throws the whole world into the great tribulation, the time of 42 months of hell on the earth, in which the restraints, the mature, born-again, spirit-filled people will, will, will be out of their way. So they'll basically do their end game in the 42 months, yeah. The Bible says 42 months. The Bible says 42 months. He shall continue 42 months. Yeah, I'll put those verses here after this video. Yeah. All right, so uh, couldn't even take my electronic devices for this article. Not even a Fitbit. <laughs> it was allowed in its headquarters. <laughs> my, my, my. A hush-hush band of CIA social media mavens and ma maestros but rather than a tight-lipped team decked out in trench coats and sunglasses, what we found was a rather ordinary crew cranking away in otherwise normal-looking office. He said, the CIA says, we don't do social media like most people do. Oh, I suppose you don't. No. Well, they try to cause wars around the planet on social media. Yeah. By the way, which, which again, I mentioned this yesterday a little bit that 99% of all the articles coming out on Venezuela yesterday, and even today, are skewed, are not correct, are biased, are propaganda of what's going on well, around the world, and especially in Venezuela. Yeah, And today, some of the big news that's popping out is Russia has nukes. Russia, Russia has nukes in Venezuela. They always want to ramp up the CIA on their... Well, you think they have just Twitter and Instagram? No, no. CNN is the CIA's social media outlet. Yeah, so you think that CNN just comes up with their articles? The BBC even. Well, the BBC is British. Yeah, well, the British are in on this exactly. You know, there's no space between these agencies. These agencies, are even in, from different countries, are all one. <laughs> and the countries that don't want to join in to their spying programs and New World Order, then they are attacked. Yeah, that's why, basically, countries are attacked economically and physically in a war if they don't want to play with the New World Order's rules. Yeah. So CNN is just a social media feed for the CIA. <laughs> ABC, MSNBC, CNN. Even Fox has been inundated and infiltrated. Sure, you think Fox is, is not... Given uh, talking points, memos, <laughs> sure they are, just different ones, and you got and you have to really. I, I tell people, get born again, get spirit filled. Ask Jesus to wash your sins away. Lord Jesus, fill fill my fill with your spirit, forgive my sins. And then what happens is that you learn not to go by what everybody tells you to believe. The Holy Spirit, Jesus' Spirit in you, then says, "Hey, this is not right." Why would they not allow Fitbits into the CIA headquarters? <laughs> Why don't they want smartphones? Why? Yeah, because they're devices that are used to spy on everybody. Yeah. My, 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 can I bring my television? <laughs> they even say the fridges, the new smart fridges are spying on you. Well, it's an electronic device, right? Yeah. But I, I'm still saying that they're still upset. The New World Order is upset that after all the spying against Trump, 
even the years, the months before the 2016 election and now for two, two years plus, they still can't find the deep, dirt, dark secrets that they, they think that Trump has. They say, well, everybody's got deep, deep, dark, bad secrets. <laughs> and they can't find them like they want to against Trump. So they continue to have investigation after investigation. And they try to investigate anybody that has connection with Trump to try to implicate Trump. It's not working, is it? It's not working, Bob, is it? <laughs> uh, we don't do social media like most people do. Yeah, mm hmm The social media lead at the CIA, who, like most of the behind-the-scenes team, declines to give her last name for security reasons. See, when you flow by the power of the Holy Spirit, get born again, you have your sins washed away and flow by the Holy Spirit, you actually tap into a greater source, a great, a bigger network than they have. <laughs> and the devil has to go on Instagram to figure out what's going on. Sure he does. The devil's not all-knowing. No. Omnipotent, all-powerful, omniscient, all-knowing. He doesn't know all these things. So the, so the fallen angels and demon spirits that run the New World Order through the Vatican around the world, and through the CIA, which is branches, this, that, and the other. Of course. And through the politicians and the secret societies. Well, wow. The force of darkness are behind it all. And they don't know everything, so they constantly need spying devices and spying to try to fight Jesus' kingdom and Jesus' soon return. <laughs> they think if they can spy on everybody, they can thwart the return of Jesus. <laughs> How's that working out? <laughs> For 6,000 years, from now back to Adam and Eve, the forces of darkness have never stopped the plan of Jesus. And they're not going to do it now. <laughs> do, 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 do they? Do, do the fallen angels and demon spirits use the internet? Sure. Use smart devices? Sure. How do you think they try to find out everything? They don't know. But they can't put all the information together. With all the spying they did, for the 2016 election in the U.S., they still couldn't stop the plan of Jesus. They're always checkmated. They're always hindered. Uh-huh. We're on the winning team. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Let's skip down this article. They're just basically saying we started off slow in 2014, and now we're just trying to gear up to go faster. It says last year they reevaluated their social media online presence. Even though we're the CIA and a clandestine organization, we have certain rules we have to follow. Can we become more social? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what followed, you know, were more tweets about everything from the Black Panther mo movies, the Game of Thrones. Yeah, I mean, what the? It's like a dog chasing their own tail. And they don't want to admit it, but it is. In February, during the Academy Awards, the CIA account polled users. Well, do you think all the polls on the, the major news networks, do you think that they aren't CIA polls? You think the polls now about Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden aren't CIA polls? Sure they are. <laughs> they just think they need more polls in the water. Ah, we're losing. Of course you're losing. CIA account, account polled users during the Academy Awards back in February, asking if the medal from Black Panther's home nation of Wakanda was real. We're your friend. We're your friend. <laughs> what was that witch who tried to get people to come into her house with uh, candies? <laughs> Hans, Hansel? Hansel and Gretel? CIA? <laughs> the witch and Hansel and Gretel, yeah. Oh, your friend. April 21st, while 99% of Twitter appeared fixated on the latest episode of Game of Thrones, the agency tweeted that one of its own had a cameo on the hit series. So the CIA had one of its own peoples in the television series. Well, what's, uh, what's so big about that? I think most people in Hollywood work for the CIA. Uh, I think most people in the music industry as well. And the talking heads of the media outlets, the, the fake news. Oh, they're not going to say, hey, I'm, I'm so-and-so from CNN and I work for the CIA. But they do. <laughs> if you do some of the research of, some, of these people, they're, they have worked for the CIA in the past. 
And they say, well, we, you know, you know that, was, that was the past. They still do. Yeah. You think they don't work with the CIA? And, and, they, and they're recruiting all the time. Oh, yeah. If you look up a lot of the people on the C CNN... Uh, CIA man on yeah CIA and it's it's not that a lot of the television uh, all the people in the movies sure and they come to them and say well we're we're just you know we're we're just this is for national defense it's to serve your country <laughs> little do they know <laughs> it's to betray this country and the nations yeah. All right, back to this article. Very interesting. Well, I, I just think it's very, very interesting. And if you don't pay attention to these things, you, you can't really understand what's going on right now with the Attorney General, you know, and why why, why are the politicians in, uh, in, in Congress, in the U.S. politicians, why are they so upset with the Attorney General? You know, why are they so, so upset that the Mala, the Mueller investigation, uh, is over and now the investigators are being investigated? Why are they so upset? Well, <laughs> tables are turned because they're not winning. You under, when you understand these principles, you understand why Julian Assange was kicked out of the embassy, Ecuadorian embassy in London, why he's going to jail now for 50 weeks. Uh, they want to extradite him to the U.S. Uh, why, did he get, why is he jailed? Yeah. Uh, why are they attacking Trump? Why are they attacking uh, Attorney General Barr? Why are people having a meltdown on The View? <laughs> Why do these people in Hollywood hate Trump? Because they're working as assets for these agencies. Sure, if you look at Barack Obama, Barack Obama worked for the CIA, still works for the CIA. If you just type in Obama, uh, Obama, Obama Nation is a CIA asset. So was his mother. So was his father. So was his grandparents. And by the way, they were also communists. Yeah. Here's one from 2017. Obama was a CIA agent. And I say he is. Yeah. Here's a, here's a, here's a book out on Amazon. It says, Manufacturing of a President, the CIA's Insertion of Barack Hussein Obama. <laughs> Who do you think brought Barack Obama into being a senator and into the, into the presidency? <laughs> Ex CIA agent Obama. You know what? Barack Obama, former CIA agent. CIA agent. Not former, he still is. There's another one. The Obama family and the CIA. There's another one. Uh, Barack Obama, his mother, and the CIA. Uh, here's one from 2010. Almost nine years ago, Barack Obama conclusively outed as a CIA creation. Here's one from 2012. Barack Obama, his mother, and the CIA. Hello. A <laughs> uh, perk of working with the CIA, they say, is world travel. I, 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 I suppose it is. Uh the tweet told it's uh, the tweet told it's approximately 2.6 million followers. Apparently, that sometimes extends to other realms. Yeah, how about every country on the planet? Maybe. Ex yeah, well, I think they're in. I, I think they're also in Russia. Russia tries to weed them out. They're in China, of course. China tries to weed them out. Yeah, they're in Iran, but Iran tries to weed them out. They're in Venezuela, but Venezuela tries to weed them out. Yeah. Uh, Iraq tried to weed them out, but they were invaded because of that. Yeah. They say, near, near, uh, for time's sake, nearly every tweet the team says begins with a story that goes up on the CIA website, which goes through a series of approvals and classification reviews before it ever see the light of day. <laughs> then the tale gets tweetified, sometimes told through a threaded series of messages. Weird. Weird. As plenty of their tweets have become viral sensations. Others didn't exactly go as planned. ha, <laughs> ha. In 2015, the agency was marking the 61st anniversary of the Korean War. 
when it when it didn't th thread tweets as it as it told the dramatic wartime story. Some of the public worried that a military attack was emin imminent. Well, they 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 don't like I said just don't just don't go on Twitter, uh, but uh, they go on and they give talking points to all the social media. Uh, outlets for them or like social media outlets like uh, the fake news major news the mainstream media sure so one of the tweets was something like north korean troops mass on the 39th parallel and and that was because you know we were kind of leading up to the drama suddenly i'm seeing this breaking news north koreans are amassing <laughs> are you gonna take the bait are you gonna believe what they're saying and that's why Trump has to be very careful not to believe the propaganda that comes uh, from the social media, which I think he's weary uh, and uh, leery of, weary and leery of, uh, but also from his uh, people around him. Trump's people around him, I believe, work for the CIA and work for the intelligence agencies and work for foreign government uh, on, in his administration. <laughs> yeah. Trump says, I should, I should listen to my gut. My gut's always right, yeah, but instead of the people around me. Uh, well, I, I talked about this the other day. Uh, uh, Pence, chief of staff, spied on Trump, possibly, yeah, or worse. And then I did one on YouTube called "The False Prophet Donates Five Hundred Thousand Dollars to Attack Trump at Border." I mean, this is a worldwide network, yeah. But Trump always get, comes up with these ideas. I believe by the Holy Spirit, by God's Spirit. For instance, his he called it his sick idea, Trump's sick idea with immigrants to put them in sanctuary cities. <laughs> which is making people go berserko. <laughs> Remember Pompeo, uh, Secretary of State, I did this one, what day was this? A week ago, when he was at Texas A&M University, he said, oh, of course, we were taught to lie, cheat, and steal at the CIA. We cheated, we lied, we stole. <laughs> <laughs> and they just can't get ahead, though. They just can't get ahead. They're always trying to get the upper hand, but they always seem to be behind the, behind the eight ball. Yeah. My, 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 my. The CIA's relationship status with the public on its social media channels can also sometimes trend, to, trend toward it's complicated. Whatever that means, we have sort of an official idea that we share what we can, so we, so we protect what we must. Who are you protecting? Because you are protecting the USA. <laughs> well, they say here in the article, the president, President Trump is known for his prolific and insult-laden Twitter feed. The voice of the CIA is conversational. Oh, where are you, afraid? You notice, notice they put down Trump. They don't like Trump getting on Twitter. When Trump went on Twitter to get his information out, the, the, the New World Order freaked out. They're still freaking out. It, they, if they could, they would ban President Trump from Twitter. They would close his account. They would close the account on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and whatever, where, where, where else, wherever else he operates. Yeah, but he's the president. He'll just come against them, and they they go, ah, we better not be too uh, tough. And not only against Trump, but against people in the U.S. and conservatives and Christians, because Trump is keeping an eye on them and said the other day that Twitter needs to be investigated by Congress, which means all the other social outlets as well, which they have been. And that kind of fizzled out. But but they know Trump will keep an eye on that. So they can't censor. The New World Order can't bring their censorship, close the, inter like, close the internet like they want to and ban people until Trump's out of office. They don't know how to get somebody else in office against Trump. I mean, seriously, Biden? <laughs> wow, you're scraping the bottom of the, of the barrel. Yeah, you are. I mean, the two fr front runners are Biden? And the socialist, <laughs> Bernie Sanders, wow, that's scraping the bottom of the barrel, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, they gained some follower, followers last week. People have been talking about this uh, on Twitter, anyways. <clears throat> but they also use it, they use Twitter and social media accounts, uh, an effective recruitment tool for the CIA which is run by Director Gina Haspel, by the way, and she is, I believe, a terrorist. I believe the director of the CIA is a terrorist. Yeah, they had Mike Pompeo there for a while, but he wasn't really an insider, so he never really fit in quite 
perfectly for their uh, well he, he would never work for them before and he was uh, he didn't know all he didn't know all their dirty secrets but uh Gina Haspel knows yeah and she's been compromised and uh, they know that she'll keep her mouth shut they don't put CIA directors because they're good they put CIA CIA and FBI directors because they're evil send that send that choose choosing a pope they don't choose a pope because the Pope's good, they choose a Pope because the Pope's the worst. Yeah. I, I'm just saying, yeah. In a strictly classified CIA, CIA world, they're calling it the CIA world. Ah, that's true. How does the agency toe the line on a platform such as Twitter? That's known for its oversharing. That's known for its oversharing. Well, that's kind of classified. We're, they said we're never going to be a see-through... Uh, organization because we're a secret organization they said barrett says with a laugh we're never going to be see through as a secret organization yeah mm -hmm. you know the bible calls the, the the vatican and the new world order mystery babylon secret babylon because this is part of the prophecies this is this is what jesus was talking about this is what the holy spirit was talking about through jesus through the prophets in the old and new testament this is what this is what john, this is what uh, john on the isle of patmos was talking about how do you think they're going to set up the mark of the beast system? The mark of the beast system is set up through spying, <laughs> through internet censorship and control, where everything is hooked up to one beast computer system, which it is right now. But they can't implement it because somebody's always in their way. You, me, Trump, other people. And it's really Jesus is in their way. <laughs> But we do use Twitter as a tool for approaching transparency. <laughs> yeah, sure you do. <laughs> Here's one uh, from 2017. I mean, when, when CNN has to admit these things, you know it's pretty bad, the leak from WikiLeaks. That's why Julian Assange and WikiLeaks is hated. Which I'm always saying that Trump should hire and, and free Julian Assange. And have him work Julian Assange and WikiLeaks for him. Yeah. WikiLeaks claims to reveal how CIA hacks TVs and phones all over the world. All over the U.S. and the world. My, 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 my. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And see, the things that they use as tools uh, and, and weapons against people on the planet, God turns around the weapons on themselves. <laughs> Here's one. Even CNN, crappy news network, has to admit this. This was this was damage control back in 2017, and and it was way before this. The CIA has become the preeminent hacking operation, sneaking into high tech phones and televisions to spy on people world war worldwide. According to an explosive WikiLeaks publication, a purported internal CIA documents. To hide its operations, the CIA routinely adopted hacking techniques that enabled them to appear as if they were hackers in Russia. Oh, Russia did it! WikiLeaks said. So I, I, I agree. I, I think that the countries around the world that don't push the Vatican's agenda are always blamed for the negative things that go on the earth. So like Venezuela has to be blamed for the economy ex exploding down there, imploding. In, in reality, it was the Vatican's. Uh, fault that the Venezuela economy has imploded. And here they're saying, well, the CIA adopts hacking techniques that enable them to appear as if they were hacking in Russia. Russia did it. They cover their you know, butts and they appear to be hackers in Russia. WikiLeaks also claim that nearly all of the CIA's arsenal of privacy crushing cyber weapons have, have, have been stolen. WikiLeaks claim that nearly all the CIA's arsenal of privacy-crushing cyber weapons have been stolen, and the tools are potentially in the hands of criminals and foreign spies. <laughs> How convenient. Well, this could be two things. It could be that God is just uh, smashing their wheels off their chariots. And they're trying to go forward, and God is slowing them down. Or... Uh, the CIA gives these tools to people around the world and say, well, it's been stolen. It's not our fault. Well, you can't blame us now because people around the world are spying on you. We had them under our control, but someone stole them. <laughs> I don't believe it. 
WikiLeaks claimed the stolen tools ended up in the hands of former U.S. government hackers and contractors, of whom leaked documents to WikiLeaks. Do uh, whistleblowers get information and use intel against the New World? Sure. But it's always who's got the stuff and we're going to get you, we're going to blame you, we're going to hide you. So the potential privacy concerns are mind-boggling. Yeah. Like Leake said, it published the documents to show the potentially hazardous ramifications of the CIA's covert hacking program. program. Well, they could have said, well, this stuff was stolen. This could be a cover-up, right, to cover their butts. Well, it wasn't us. I didn't steal the cookie out of the cookie jar. WikiLeaks, an outfit that believes in transparency. I, I, I like to read this because people just think that Julian Assange, you know, I don't know, man, he's just, you know, he deserves what he gets. <laughs> I don't think so. I think he needs to be uh, as a hero for just for putting this stuff out. WikiLeaks, an outfit that believes in transparency, backed up by the claims by publishing a massive trove of what it says are CIA documents. It calls the collection uh, Year Zero. It was 8,761 documents and files. The CIA said that their policy declined to say whether the published documents are genuine. Well, we don't comment on the authenticity or content of, uh, of intelligent documents. <laughs> Here's the shocking claims. WikiLeaks portrays the CIA as a powerful hacking organization that has managed to infiltrate common personal devices. This is around the world. With the power to spy on nearly everybody's personal lives. <laughs> CIA fra frames and uh, other CIA frames other hackers. CIA rules uh, say that its hackers must be cyber weapons in a way that ca that can't get traced back to the CIA. <laughs> Excuse me, the U.S. government or its writing partner uh, companies, which witting uh, partner companies, meaning the people that they hire out, according to WikiLeaks. So they frame other hackers. They have ways to hide their trails. Yeah. After a person, company, or government gets hacked, cybersecurity experts worldwide are typically hired to conduct reviews. These reviews of tools, uh, these reviews of tools and techniques usually allow someone to identify the attacker. WikiLeaks says there's an entire department within the CIA whose job it is to misdirect. Misdirect, that's called, uh, that's not only from these hacking uh, uh, hacks, but also uh, all these uh, media outlets. And movies and TV series and television talk shows, talk shows are, and, and, and movies and books and magazines are also uh, misdirections, disinformation on purpose, yeah. The CIA misdirects uh, by leaving behind the fingerprints of others, such as hackers in Russia. Oh, it's not us. <laughs> Uh, Cybersecurity cyber experts have repeatedly warned against the tendency to quickly blame a nation for a particular hack. But the news does it all the time. Venezuela, 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 Iran, 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 North Korea, North Korea, Russia, 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 Russia. China, China, China. It's not us. <laughs> this revelation could lend further credence to those like President Trump who doubt whether Russia did indeed, indeed that Russia did indeed hack the Democrats. See, Trump knows because Trump is led by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> attempt to sway the recent American election. Now, this is back uh, article back in 2017. Anyways, I'm going to put this link <clears throat> here as well, just to remind people. Phones, TVs spy on you. The team within the CIA developed spy software that infects Samsung smart TVs. That's not really all of them. Placing televisions on fake mode that still listens to conversations and sends them back to American spies, WikiLeaks claim. The program uh, is called Weeping Angel. It was created with the help of the British spying agency MI5! MI5! Yeah. My, my, my. Oh, my, my, my. They can remotely control your iPhones, iPads, Android devices, secretly talk, taking video from the camera, listening with the microphone, and tracking your location. <laughs> Sometimes TVs were eavesdropping on private conversations. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, Google. <laughs> what do you think Google is? You might as well say, hey, CIA. Hey, Alexa. Hey, CIA. Hey, listen, Amazon was created by the CIA. By the, by the CIA. Jeff Bezos was created by the CIA. <laughs> Daryl, that's scary. Well, it's the truth. But the good news is that Jesus Christ is stronger than they are. And Jesus Christ is having them chase their tails like dogs. Chase their tails. Yeah. <laughs> it's been that way for 6,000 years, and it's going to always be that way. All right, that's the good news. So get born again, get spirit-filled. 
uh, stay born again, stay spirit filled. All right, watch these videos that I'm doing. Pass them on to other people. We don't have much time left. The next rapture is about to happen. DarrellLawsonLive.com is my website. Uh, go there for information 24-7. Listen, if we don't know what's going on, who really does? The Pope? I don't think so. <laughs> DarrellLawsonLive.com. Thanks for your person and financial support, by the way. Go to my website and pass this video to other people. God bless you. I love you. I'll see you in my next show. Bye for now.